Why did you say yes when I asked you to become one of the amplified DEI speakers? And and also, why does DEI matter to you that much? Yeah, um, well, it's very easy to say yes to you. I think you've built a <laughs> great platform and really helped showcase people's voices. Mm -hmm. so that it was going to be a comfortable place to land. Mm -hmm. And um, I had my daughter about three years ago, and I think I have a similar story to you, Vivian, of realizing yeah. that my life didn't fit into what I'd built my career to be yeah. in the tech world specifically, um, and kind of learned more about caregiving and learned that it's a very underrepresented group and very undersupported group, especially when we look at moms and I'm in the mm -hmm. U.S. And as a result of that, recognize that this is something that I was passionate about and for myself and you know, I was able to find a great part-time job that really resonated with me. Let me do meaningful, important work and also go to the playground on Wednesdays and Fridays. <laughs> and yeah, I just so came from so many parents who kept saying, how do I get your life? Yeah. And my response to them was like, I don't recommend my path because it mm -hmm. kind of sucked, um, unfortunately. And that's where I just started digging a little bit deeper and recognizing this is an opportunity um, to be part of this conversation, speaking up for caregivers, as well as looking at that intersectionality of, of the different other groups that are very underrepresented in traditional hiring processes, especially across the tech scene. I love that. I definitely love that.